Wow, those foods look awesome, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them coming up so that you can have a themed movie night to Lilo and Stitch, just like we did. So, I'll see you in a few seconds. Hey, what's up guys? It's Bethany here again with Mommy's Movie Magic. Welcome back to my channel and for another fantastic themed movie night. If you're new here, I am Bethany and I love to create themed dinner, drinks, snacks, and crafts that go along with different themed movies. And we have a themed movie night that we celebrate to make all of these recipes come to life. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you head down below and check out that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on a new movie night because I have a different one that comes out every single week. In the meantime, if you do go down and check out all of my other videos and you can't find one that you quite wanna do with your family yet because I haven't gotten to it, make sure you check out this link right here which will help you try to recreate your own movie theme night while you're waiting on me to recreate one for you. So also, last thing, make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video because I really do appreciate it and it helps me know that you guys are liking my content and want me to recreate all of these themed foods and drinks for you in the future. So let's not give this any more thought. Let's get into our Lilo and Stitch movie night. So for our movie night menu this week, I did a Hawaiian chicken and pineapple along with a coconut rice. For our drink, we did a peanut butter and jelly smoothie, which was so delicious. Looking at it seemed gross, but it is so yummy, you will not regret it. And also for our themed uh, dessert, we did a sand pudding dessert, which turned out amazing. My kids love anything vanilla, so it was perfect for us. Also, just as a warning, this recipe has a complete Instant Pot recipe for your Hawaiian chicken and for the coconut rice. I love my Instant Pot and I cook with it all the time. If you've seen any of my videos, I do cook with it quite often. So if you do not have an Instant Pot, I will try to talk you into getting one because it is one of my go-tos in my kitchen. If you do not have an Instant Pot yet, go down in the description bar below because I have a link down there for you guys to purchase an Instant Pot. It is amazing and you will not regret it. And if you need any help, just reach out and talk to me. So let's get into all the how-tos on my recipes right now. Mm -mm. Let's get ready for our Hawaiian chicken and rice. So the first thing we do is put some oil in the bottom of our Instant Pot and we wanna hit the saute button until it becomes nice and hot oil on the bottom of your pan. And then put your chicken breasts in and you wanna brown it for about two to three minutes. Flip over your chicken and do the very same thing to the other side. While that's browning, you're gonna get your rice ready. So we have an extra pot that's Instant Pot ready where we put a cup of rice, butter, lemon juice, pineapple juice, and coconut milk. And you wanna give it a good stir so everything's nice and mixed and it can absorb that liquid while it's cooking inside your pot. Once your chicken is ready, you're gonna put in your garlic, add in your ginger. Here I used ginger paste. We put in our half a cup of barbecue sauce. And our pineapple juice and let everything just kind of settle down. Take the trivet to your Instant Pot and place it right on top of your chicken. And then place your rice pot on top of the trivet. And then you're gonna go ahead and just close up your Instant Pot and set your seal to sealing. And then set your Instant Pot to manual pressure cook for 10 minutes. When your pot is ready, flip this valve and open it up. You're gonna take out your rice and set it aside. Also take out the trivet so that you can get access to the chicken and take the chicken breasts out and put them on a plate and set them off to the side until you're ready to use them again. So from here, you're gonna hit the saute button on the juice that's in the bottom of your pan. Once it's boiling, you wanna add in your slurry mix of your cornstarch and water and give it a good mix while it's boiling and your mixture at the bottom should, it should thicken up so that you can now have a sauce from your pineapple juice and barbecue sauce. Once it's thick, go ahead and add in about a cup of your pineapple or a whole eight ounce can if you're having a can of pineapple and then mix it so everything is nice and mixed. And then you can take this and scoop it on top of your chicken and serve, or even add your chicken back in 
And here you have your Kauaian chicken with coconut rice. To get ready to make our sand dessert, we have to start out with our jello vanilla pudding mix. So we're gonna use two of these three and a half ounce pudding mixers, and we're gonna pour them both into a medium sized bowl. The next thing we're gonna do is add our three cups of cold milk and we're gonna stir it or whisk it up for about two minutes. The cold milk is what activates it, so we make sure that you make sure the milk is cold. Once it's all mixed together, go ahead and set it aside and get out another medium-sized bowl. We're gonna put your eight ounces of softened cream cheese in there and add in our two-thirds cup of powdered sugar. And we're going to use a hand mixer and make sure that it's all nice and mixed together until it's a smooth, creamy mixture. The next step is to bring your pudding back into the mixture and you're going to pour it in the same bowl as your cream cheese mixture and mix it all together. And the last step is taking your eight ounces of whipped topping and you're going to fold it into your pudding mixture that you already mixed until everything is nice and smooth and mixed together. So while that's set aside, we're gonna get the sand topping, which I use these golden Oreos that I put inside my Ninja food processor here. And I chopped up probably about 15 cookies to get the two desserts that I needed. So you're gonna need double that for all the recipe that you need for if you're making four. And chop them up until they are as fine as you'd like them to be. you are ready to start assembling. So just start with some of your sand at the bottom, your Oreo mixture, and place the sand at the bottom and then put your pudding in the next layer. You can make it as thick or as light layers as you want to. I wanted mine pretty thick. And so I put the sand, the pudding, and then more of the sand. And then I did another layer of the pudding on top of it. And then when I finished off the top with the sand mixture once again, because I wanted the top to be the sand on top of everything else. And you have a very easy, very delicious dessert. It's sandwich day. Every Thursday I take Pudge the Fish a peanut butter sandwich. Pudge is a fish. Since Lilo gives Pudge a peanut butter sandwich, I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of jelly. So we did a peanut butter and jelly smoothie where we started out with two bananas and I added in about a cup of cut up strawberries. I added a cup of milk, which you can add almond milk or regular milk, it does the same thing. A little bit of honey for some sweetness. And then last but not least, about two spoonfuls of peanut butter. It doesn't have to be exact, so just eyeball it to your taste. and you put the lid on and puree it all up. And pour out your smoothie into your glasses. I had the perfect amount to make two beautifully made peanut butter and jelly smoothies. Top it off with your own peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for garnish, as well as two strawberries for a little bit of extra flair and serve those up and you will love and be surprised at how delicious these peanut butter and jelly shakes are. The craft project that we decided to do tonight was by Red Ted Art on YouTube, which I will include the link in the description bar down below. So to make this, we folded up our blue piece of paper and followed her directions on how to make a bookmark and then continue to decorate it and cut it out and make it look exactly like Stitch. We used different colors paper to create his eyes and his black for his eyeballs and the white in his eyes. And we also used red paper to make his mouth and white for his teeth. 
and we made also his ears to stick on at the very end. So I cut, did most of the cutting because it was a lot easier for the girls to let me do it. And then I let them put the glue stick on the paper and they glued everything together themselves. They really loved it and it turned out super cute. And in fact, my daughter is using hers right now on her bookmark as we speak. So I hope you guys like it. Check it out in the description bar down below and let me know what you think. again for joining me on another edition of Mommy's Movie Magic. Go make those recipes. Let me know how they turn out. Make it your own even. Let me know what you did down in the comments below. Before you leave, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time on Mommy's Movie Magic.